Hello everybody, Eric Emin Twins 28 here. Before we get into this video, uh, just a quick um, quick update to my channel. Before we get into this video, um, this is something I never thought I would ever have going on on my channel, but I'm going to do it. I've done it. Um, I have started a Patreon page. Um, I really enjoy making content for you guys. And I know I don't have very many viewers right now. And I know it takes time. I've watched other YouTubers and they've said the same thing. It takes a while. And then eventually a following starts. And it just goes from there. And I I thank you from to all of you or whatever some of you that do show up. And watch my videos thank you for coming and tuning in and to all the new people that come and watch the videos and like what I do I appreciate um, you watching my videos subscribing to the channel and sticking out with me uh, I'm trying to make better content as you've seen in some of my earlier vlogs you know with the uh, you know I'm I upgraded my laptop so I can do my work on there I've got software on there to help edit these videos better. I got a new microphone which I'm holding right now so I can you can hear me better than me just leaning over. I got new headphones so I can hear my work when I edit. All sorts of things and I'm adding new content to the channel and I just I want to continue to make good content for this channel but I also you know in this day and age with Corona I know times are tough for all, for all of us, and um, I just I want to continue the quality of my work and to continue the channel going on. I've I've started the the patron page, and I'm not asking for help from you guys. I'm just leaving it out there. If you want to help make this channel successful, and you want to donate some something my way to continue this further along, and maybe. You know, there's going to be, there might be some other projects in the future I want to do that might not even have to do with computers and gaming. I might want to go on, you know, do my own thing, go on trips and do video content that way and do some other things. I, I, I don't know. I just want to leave that option for you guys if you want to continue to support me in the channel and you want to help me in any way like that. It's there for you. I'm not asking you to donate. You don't have to. Just it's there. So I just want to bring that up um, because I don't have enough viewers and subscribers. I can't link the uh, the link on my videos. Um, I'm gonna try and at least put a in each video. I'll try to, when I edited them like this one. I'll put them in the you know somewhere so you can see it and you can you can go to it. Um, but I'll also have a description in each in each video. I'll have a link in the, each description. So I uh, just wanted to uh, add that to that before we get into this episode. And uh, I hope you enjoy this episode. It's been interesting getting this twins roster together. So uh, without further ado, here is uh, episode season two, episode three. MLB the show twenty for your world champion Minnesota Twins. And I hope you enjoy this video. Thank Hello you. Hello and welcome to MLB The Show 20 for your Minnesota Twins franchise. How you doing, everybody? Eric and Men Twins 20 here. We are on Season 2, Episode 3. We are about ready to start the regular season. Uh, Three-game series, I believe, against the Detroit Tigers, uh, rival Detroit Tigers. Uh, before we get into the game, I'll show you the roster moves I, made, I did to set the 26-man roster. And it was not an easy one. I ended up having to do a couple, uh, at least one or two trades. And the reason why was when I was trying to make the cuts, there were several players I could not send down without them clearing waivers. A lot of the players, young guys, are on, are, their options are up. So some guys I, I didn't want to part with, I didn't want to risk getting sent down, so... You know, some of the guys that struggled during spring are still with the, tw the team. But this is a starting lineup right now. 
in there's a couple surprises here but we're going to take a look at it miles straw who you saw we acquired in the last video along with Corey lee we traded buxton away i just i, I know i'm going to get some heat for it but buxton's just you know he just wasn't producing like i wanted he wasn't getting any better whereas this guy was consistent as is Corey Lee, he's a hot young catcher, and that's what we need. We need a, a stud, and he's an A potential. He's only going to get better, so I had to make the move for the future of this franchise. Um, Jorge Polanco, I'm switching him to second base, and I'm keeping Royce Lewis up. He had a great spring. He was hitting well over 300. I think he was actually hitting 400. So we're going to go with Royce Lewis. The, the Royce Lewis era has begun. We're going to switch him to short, or keep him at short. Justin Turner at third. Miguel Sano, the DH. Uh, he struggled in the spring, but I think he'll be okay. Puig in that five spot in right. Uh, Kepler, our new first baseman. And I did fix his his uh, th throwing hand. It did mess it up when I originally moved him from outfield to first. It, for some reason, switched it from a lefty back to right. So I got that fixed. Because I, I, I was like, wait a minute, wasn't he a lefty? And I Googled his real... Um, stats and it showed he was a lefty so I did fix that that's back Corey Lee the catcher batting seventh Eddie Rosario had a decent spring he's gonna hit eighth and then Lewis will be in the bottom hitting ninth uh, Arias you know had a great year last year um, you know I could have went with Arias at second but I just feel it was time for Lewis, and I believe he, yeah, his all his minor league options were used up. So it's like, well, we're just going to roll with it. Uh, Rias will be a good utility player off the bench. He can play infield, so that's fine. Rooker is another one, I believe, that used up his stuff, but he was doing pretty good, and I think he had, he got an okay year last year. 35 strikeouts, 17 walks, two stolen bases. We're going to try and improve that, because I think his speed, yeah, he's not a hitter. He's not a runner, but he can hit. Ostadio, again, backup catcher since we traded Garver away. Ostadio could play catcher third, first, so he's okay there. Kirloff was struggling in the, in the spring training. He's another one that's all his options used up, and I just don't want I just don't want to risk using losing him. And Gudrum, of course, can play every position but catcher, so there you go. Um there was one player who did, I did have to pass through waivers, but he did clear it, and that was DJ Peters. And he was a B, potential 66 overall, and I just didn't have a place for him. His options were used up, so I've tried to pass him through, and he made it. Addison Russell, he struggled. I, he didn't really struggle that well, and he's getting paid a lot of money. It's just the other guys, I don't have... I just don't have the space for. I don't want to lose them unless I can work out a trade and get some better pro players in addition to those, or in replacement of those. And he had options, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna send him to the minors. And I think I'm gonna, once I work on the rosters, he's gonna be everyday starter down there. Uh, Lamont Wade, he had some options left. He does not anymore. He did have one left. I think he, yeah, Warnick also has options that are used up so a lot of my young guys I'm probably gonna have to end up flipping because we just don't I just don't have you know any more options for them but this is our starting lineup here there's our lineup for lefties pretty much same as before now pitching staffs a little different I decided to Okay, we got the standard five. We got Bauer, Barrios, Arena, Blazovic, even though he's 8-1. I'm going to have him start fourth. And then Glasnow. And this is where things get interesting. Smeltzer was another one who had a... It had no uh, no options left. So I'm just, I, I made him a long reliever. I tried to package him in a, in a trade, but it just wasn't happening. And there was another pitcher I wanted to go with this guy but I think he had options left he did but now he doesn't so I, I wouldn't be surprised this season we're gonna start packaging a lot of these guys for our prospects and stuff because even after we finish season two and I end the series I'm gonna continue playing on this 
on this file, so I also have to think about the future for this team and me going forward off camera. Uh, Trevor May stick sticking in the role. He's good. Bowman, I like him. He's sticking around. Junior Hernandez, he showed some promise. He also has no options left. Sergio Romero's coming back. Maiza, I moved him as a setup role. And then Bruce Dargrado. Uh, I decided to make him the closer. He had a great spring. Um, Tyler Rogers kind of struggled a bit. And as you can see, we had no... Oh, my God. I got to really work on that rotate, that bullpen in double A. Uh, Taylor Rogers is nowhere to be seen. And I ended up trading him uh, for some... Just for some prospects and just to get rid of him because we needed space. Um, I acquired... Starting pitcher Junior Santos and relievers Nick Rumbello and Alejandro Campos from the Mets. And I sent Pat Neshek, that was the other one, and Taylor Rogers away um, just so I can make room off the 26 man roster. And those guys, they're not on 40 man roster, they're not on the 26 man, so they're down the minors. And then, of course, you see the other trade we made, which was on camera last time. Um, Stazak, I removed him off the 40 man, and it looks like he he cleared waivers. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's it. So as far as the minor league rosters are concerned, as of right now, I'm not going to worry about those. I'm going to do those off camera, and then I'll show you guys when the minor leaguers get going, which is going to be another couple weeks, uh, at least another week, it looks like. See, we're right here. Yeah. So minor leagues don't get going until, yeah, the 8th. So I got two weeks. I have two weeks to get those rosters ready. So we're going to get going here with the Twins and the Tigers. And I think since it's game one of the series, of the season, I think we're going to do a little throwback day here. So let's get... I'm going to go with the pinstripes with the Twins, and I think for the Tigers, let's get those classic, yeah, those classic Tiger ones from the 70s when they used to play at Tiger Field. I wish they would add Tiger Field to the freaking game, along with Comiskey Park and, hell, even Abbott's Field. I'd love to do that. But uh, we're going to use our standard lineup. Looks like we're going against the lefty. Rosario, Rooker. I kind of want a right-handed heavy lineup, so maybe I should start Rooker over. Eddie. And we'll keep we'll keep Kepler in there because he's got power. But yeah, I think we'll let Eddie take the day off. Although Eddie's been tearing it up, so eh, screw it. We'll just go with our Yeah, screw it. We'll just go with our regular lineup. I'm ready. So Corey Lee making his major league debut for the twins. And let's see here. Looks like Jonathan Scope and CJ Crone, a couple pair of former twins are in the lineup for the Tigers. Facing former manager Ron Gardenhire. I believe he's still with the Tigers. And this I know he was in 2020 season. I don't know about 21. We'll find out here in a little bit. Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Detroit Tigers and the Twins. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. Trevor Bauer gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Last year wasn't a very good year for this guy. 16 losses, but you can't put all the blame on him. The team wasn't very good either. I mean, when you lose 16 games in a year, there are a lot of things that Well, the team he was on wasn't very good. Like the, the team he came to was very good. We won the World Series. <laughs> now at the plate, Peterson. 
And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Tigers went to classic unis. I love them. I was watching a video from somebody else, and they are doing, um, oh, the Sports Gaming Universe. He was doing a Twins and Tigers game in the simulation, and both teams were wearing throwbacks. Twins were wearing the baby blues, which I'm not a fan of. But the Tigers were wearing these unis. I'm like, oh, I remember those growing up in the 80s in Michigan, and I used to live in the, oh, oh. Oh, good try, Turner. But uh, I remember growing up, I, I was born in Michigan, so I lived in Michigan for about 10 years. And I remember these uniforms. Cecil Fielder, Lou Whitaker, Rob Deere, guys like that, Jack Morris. So I remember these uniforms, these classics. It's nice to see them in the game. Nice play there by Puig. Here's Miguel, he's still there. Still got to be careful to him, even though he's decrepit and old. He still can, he can still launch a home run. He's going, he's going. Strike taken, the throw. And, oh, come on, really? So he swipes second successfully, but you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, wow. that's a good point, Matt, but I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early in the I'm going to try and so get him because here we wanted to. Move. Got him. Bye-bye. Just walk him flat out. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just it's too early to walk, there. people. Second here with two away, and that'll bring up Jonathan Scope to hit. So the Tigers testing out Corey Lee early on here, and they just barely got, just barely got it. Oh, Lewis! And everyone knows that you set the tone on opening day, and that's not the kind of tone they want to set. I gotta change his number. That was a bad throw. Come on, kid. If he keeps that up, we're going to have to move him to second and get Polanco back over there. If he has another error or two, that might just happen. Nice play by Kepler. Turns to get out of it unscathed. That was a great play by Max. I'm actually very hyped up about this season of the show here. We're going to definitely take some more time to focus on this one. We're going to play some... I'm going to try and at least play a game a week as far as on the game schedule. We'll pick one game a week. And we'll throw in some minor league games too, obviously. Ooh. Straw making his Twins debut as the heir apparent to Byron Buxton. And that's not a good first impression. A chance now from Target Field to take a look at the Twins lineup in this one. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Well, Matt, this goes for both lineups. They know they're dealing with a tough test in a pitcher's park, but they can't let that bother them too bad. Nice lineup. Well Looks like it runs to me. Set, 0 for 12, 0 for Let's see if we get Polanco on board here. Stay within themselves. Line drive approach. One too early. Way early. One. Yep. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. Late. I love these pinstripes. I wish the Twins would never have changed it. They should have just left them. They're classic Twins uniforms. Ripped up the middle. All right. Base hit, and that's their first of the new campaign. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. Doesn't matter if it's okay. Well, here's Justin Turner. Last time the Twins fans saw this guy, he was knocking them all over the place in the World Series. And now he's one of us. Justin Turner 
That's tough. And at first for him, following the one out single. I've noticed this guy throws a slider the first pitch. It's two guys now, I think. Maybe three. Oop, I was late on that one. Come on, Eric, pay attention. Oh, uh, I don't know what. I can't see what that was because the L's in the way there. Okay. Rips it, but foul. Another slide. Come on, kid. Oh, current Turner's like 35, 36. He's not a kid. <laughs> well, to me, he's a kid because I'm 41, so... Turner, deep drive to left field. And gone. Home run in his first at bat as a twin. Touch them all, Justin Turner. It's nice that he's doing it for us and not against us. <laughs> Bam! Right into the bullpen. That was crushed. That was a great hit. And here's the other home run power man, Mr. Sano. Oh. I'm sure Sano's a little disappointed that he's not in the field anymore. He's just solely there for hitting, but he'll get his chances to play first or third. Swung on and, driven out and now he's got one to right. Well hit, but stay it's going to be off the, wall. off the wall. So Sano with a double. Got a boy. Here's Puig, the other big free agent signing. Well, we had him before, but now he's back. And he drills one in the gap. That's not going to be caught. Sano's going to score easily. Puig in a second. This is the first that the Twins fans are seeing Puig. He was signed last season, and he was not on the 40-man roster. He was a free agent signing for depth from the minors we needed. I think eventually we traded him, if I'm not mistaken. But he comes back, and now the Twins fans get a chance to, to see him, besides in the press clippings from the minors. Kepler with a fly to left. Casey will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. So two down here in the first. Standing in, Corey Lee. So here's the new catcher. Blake Moore in the opening frame. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a line. Ripped it to third and just missed a hit. That was a good contact, just right at him. Not much you can do with that. That was a good, a good, good hit, but just, yeah, bad luck. Whoops. Okay, so we'll go. And field his choice, all right. Here's Eddie. And as Eddie with a rip. And this one will bounce into the wall. Hey, his speed's gotten better. It's at 50 now. It's still and not high enough, though. With the nice rip. Well, every pitcher gets to start the inning with a fresh slate. And here's Royce he's Lewis making his, his debut. Him, but he's got to be shaking his head right here. A I think I'm going to try. I'm going to play. And he's back in trouble again. Things just not going oh. his way right now. Oh, there we go. Good. That's all right. First, so the That's okay. We need to get down better, though, but... No one's in caught. That'll help Straw. Hopefully drive in Eddie here. Like a base hit of some sort right here, Maddie. But hey, you know what? Another fly out wouldn't be all that. And there it is. Good job from the bottom of the order, and then Straw drives him in. Eddie with the leadoff double, and then Lewis. Gets the bunt down, even though it was ugly. He did his job getting Rosie over, and then Straw with his hit. And now, Twins fans are going to see this guy. The guy that took over has replaced Buxton. 
Bad jump. Safe. That was not a good jump, but he still got in there. Two strikes. Try and get Straw to go to third. Oh, go back, 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 go back. Cameron is there now, and he has it two gone. Probably could have went on that, tagged up, but. Well, here's Turner again. Base hit. Nope. Good hold, because he would have been gunned down. All right, here's Sano. Here's Miguel Sano. Ooh, right in his wheelhouse, and he fouls it. All over the place, two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. As a look, now the pitch. There's a swing. That one's trouble. High in the air into left field. Ah, he's got it. Nope, it's gone. Three run homer for Sano. Not quite the Sano doubter. He just squeaked it past the so a three wall. Blast is straight away left. First home run of the campaign for him. And this lead swells to seven to nothing. It looked like he might just work out of that inning only giving up a single run. But it all comes crashing down on that mistake. Nothing like a three run. Ball. And they're pulling him already. Here comes Gardy. Now here comes Ron Garden higher up out of the dugout. Change. Wow. Be One and two thirds inning, and he's done. So the pitching line will not be kind to him here this afternoon, as he just pretty much could not get anything working. And now is Oh, yes, and Puig point. missed a meatball. That was late on that. Nope, early. I'm gonna try and get him a slider here. Yep. But it's in the zone, so I better rip it. Squeak with a hit. Outside of home runs, nothing fires me up more than watching a good baseball player drive the ball in the air. Puig having a good day so far. There's Kepler. Fly down his last at bat. Imagine the ball coming to a complete stop between home plate and the pitcher's mound. And then cutting that These tiger pitchers like to throw those that slider. That's where you're trying to take the knob of your bat or the hands to that spot and carve the inside half. Kepler a little late on that one, I think. Yep, just a little bit. I think you're gonna throw another slider here. Kepler, Gapper, face hit. Puig's got some speed. They're going to test it. Uh-oh, and Kepler's going to be out. I thought maybe they'd throw it to home, but oh well. Well, we got a double for Kepler. That's fine. That's all right. Got to work on those. Settling in now. Got to do better on the base pads. Corey Lee base hit, his first one. And that'll get on through in the left for a leadoff single. And there's probably no happier person in the ballpark. Corey Lee has just collected his first hit in the big leagues. And as is customary, there's the ball being set. Hey, you're not supposed to wear 14. That's retired, dude. What the hell? Yeah, good for him and congratulations. Listen, he's worked his That's Herbeck's number. That's retired. Moment. Been retired for years. Trying to play cool right now, but you can bet inside Ooh, his Eddie. Head, he's on top of the world. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. I think they're going to try a slider. Wait a minute. No, I'm going to go change up. Ah. Taken in by scope to second for one on the first. Well, whatever it was, it was bad. <laughs> Eddie. Oh, here's Royce Lewis. Definitely going to get him a new number since he's going to be a regular. Have to figure out what number to give him. Wow. 
Fly ball out toward left Lewis to center, center. Left center. Yep. Left field. Excuse me. Ah. Scope. Former twin. One year. All right. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Miles Straw. He's one for two in the ball game. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get ripped it foul. Get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Ooh. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Nothing Another slider coming. Line drive to left. He crushed it, but it's right at the guy. Good, good contact. Into the box. Blanco. And another hit into the gap. And he'll pull into second with one away. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball. That was a nice hit. contact and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. At the plate, Justin Turner hit high and deep. Bye bye. Left field. And a leap in another homer for Turner. That's why I brought him in. Of course, I could have done it with Donaldson, but Justin turns a little bit cheaper. <laughs> yeah, it's a little cheaper. He can produce just as good. And here's Sano. He hit a three-run jack in his first at bat. Or his last at bat, excuse me. He hit a double in his first at bat. Right into the shift, but uh, this will be a foul ball. As he's Throwing sliders on him. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up. Oh, they got him in the shift. Stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Demerit is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Next to bat will be Yasiel Puig. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Throw another slider. Nope. Probably a fastball. Ah, I was late on it. Ah, that was ugly. All right. Next up for Detroit. See, fifth inning and Bauer's still looking good here. The way he's going, the way that we're playing. Oh, I was about to say we might just go the whole game with him. Oh, now two homers. Come on. Okay, we're in the fifth. We're still up to the eighth. So. Right up the middle. Kepler is going to remind me a lot about Morneau. He's got that body, that body frame. You know, they catch opposite hands. This is Corey Lee, I believe. Yep. Guys are staying in the big part of the field and, hit and he hits right into the double play. There's one. On to ah. the double play. Coming to the plate now, Eddie Rosario. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game. At hits it high Eddie, deep center. Field. That is, oh, just missed. Gave it a ride, but just short. Just a bit outside. Oh, they put Smelt. What the hell? Why is Smelter in? I don't remember bringing him in. Okay. Yes. So there must have been an injury or... Because I did pitch. I did not. I did not change him. Because that's why I do pitch. That way I can make the changes, not them. So I must have had an injury. Bauer must have got hurt or something. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. 
mind to the right There's side. his first hit. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. And there's probably no happier person in the ballpark. Royce Lewis has just collected his first hit in the big leagues. And as he's about to get his first steal, too. Look at that. He just. Yeah. The throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. God, he just walked into that. Second, nobody out. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Not in Safe. time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing game. Nope, I'm not and running on him. Oh, he and that's gonna fall for a base dropped it. Home. And not in time as the wow. Tell you they're posting video game numbers here. I mean, that's gonna okay. Be I would have, I thought that was gonna be caught. No signs of slowing down, just an absolute onslaught from this offense at the plate now. Jorge Polanco, Polanco the third, and that's the first down. Justin Turner will stand in looking for home run. Will he get another one? <laughs> Driven to the gap and caught. Probably could have tagged on it, but eh, we're up by nine. Now it would be the Minnesota D8. Miguel Sano. Two for three with a home run and a double. Fouled off. Here's the 0 1. It'd be smart to throw a slide piece. Nope. There it is. Another one. Left one hanging. That's Dinger number six on the day between these two lineups. I feel like I'm watching home run derby here, guys. Dan, Where did that land? Second deck. Another pitcher for the Tigers. Puig with one to deep left center, but that's not going to be out. Alright. So Smeltzer's in there. I'm. I hope Bauer's okay. I hope Bauer's okay. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in and looking for more. Max Kepler. Let's go. Three righties coming up. Oh, uh, let's get Junior Hernand Fernandez warmed up. Now here's the pitch. A swing and a drive Kepler. Right field. That's gone. Merit, and it's gone as they wow. Still They're destroying these guys. All our power hitters are crushing it. It's Corey Lee. Into the box now. Corey Lee. High fly ball out to he crushes one deep center. center left center. Oh, he missed he it. Get there. It's over his head. He's going to go for three. That should be an error. That should be an error. That should have been caught. He just misplayed that. That's an error. I, I don't understand that. There's Rosie. They'll get the run in. Out on the tag, but they do play to run on the play. Stepping up now, Royce Lewis. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line down the left. Ripped it. But yeah, this is foul near the seats. Nice curveball. And the 0-1. Swing and a ground ball to third. And there's out number two. Oh. 
So coming to the plate, Miles Straw. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Takes this the other way. Base to right. hit to right. He gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Nice hit there. Just a nice piece of hit right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that. We're in the seventh here, so maybe we should uh, feed it into the think about putting in some. Into the box for him, Polanco. Bench guys. So in the air to right field. Yeah, I'll be caught. The merits there to retire the side. All right, let's see how Smelter looks here, and then maybe we'll make a decision. Oh, he's still good. He's still good. Cool. All right. I think we'll just let Smelter go the rest of the way. Justin Turner already. Yeah, we'll let this guy sit down. So we'll see what else he has in store here. First offering on its way. Fouled away. Turner having a day to remember. Wow, he left a hanging curveball. That one's not gonna be out. Is right there as he puts it away, no problem for the first down. Here's Snow. And in that last at bat, it makes you think this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Sliced hard on the base hit to right. In for another base hit. Right in the, right over he beat the shift. Man, talk about having a good game. Like most guys, this would be a good week. Four hit of the game and two of those B-rolls round trippers. Yeah, he's going to have a smile on his face for a while here, Dan. These are special nights. You have to enjoy these. These don't come around often. Oof. He is taking full advantage of it. Strike one to start the at-bat. Puig just a little late on that one. And he fouls this one off. Runner at first here, one man out. Line drive to center field. That's a hit. And that's in there, base hit. I think the real Puig is still a free agent. I wouldn't mind seeing him in Twins Union. It's just we don't have any place for him. We got a good honest, outfield. Sure we got Cruz at DH. We got Snow at first. We don't really need Puig, but... If we had a spot for him, I would love to see him in the Twins uniform. I think he's still got plenty up in the tank. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. There's Kepler. So now to the plate, Max Kepler. And he rips it to uh, the opposite field to left. <laughs> Bases are juiced for the rookie. Come on, kid. Make yourself famous. Oh, he hit another double play. Oh, bobbled. And the tag gets him. But one run is in to score on the play. Ooh. Maybe smart to walk Eddie. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hoping to limit the damage. Here's the pitch. Line drive to center field. But this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in. All right, we're going to the ninth. Here's CJ Crone now, starting things for his side in the ninth. All right, Smelter. They face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. So hopefully after the game we'll find out what happened to Bauer. I think hopefully they just pulled him because of the two home runs and not because of injury. Hopefully he's not hurt. But like I said, I hit the, uh, you know, I, the way I was simulating it, it shouldn't change the player unless there was an injury. So it's most likely an injury. Smelter's at 98 pitches here. No balls in one strike. The wind up and the 0 1. 
Nice pitch. Let's do slide piece down low. Nice. Much better play by Lewis there. of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now we'll blow now a fastball by him on their feet. got him twins win big the open the season 16 to 2 the final tally today Minnesota mounted an impressive offensive display. Smeltzer comes in in relief and times. Devin Smeltzer finished the game the win out of the pen his first Matthew Boyd struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it. So now is the player DeRosa of the game. Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field and the rest of five. the crew. I'm Matt Vasquez. Four for five. Oof da. Turner was three for five. Kepler was four for five. Everybody looked really good. I think everybody had a hit. If I'm not mistaken here. Let's take a look. Twins. Yeah, everybody had at least one hit. So not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty cool. Let's hope for, hope for the best on Trevor Bauer. Hopefully we didn't lose him to something serious. Because that's my worry. Why else would, would uh, Smelter come in? Flexor strain. He'll be out for a few days. So he'll probably make his next start. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll sim ahead. So next game will be Brios and then Arena. Welcome to your Saturday edition of Inside so, the Show. Yeah, I'm I think Allegra. we're going to stop Starting there. The West, so I'm going to work. Grab the win I'm going to sim ahead. Two to one. I might play some games the myself. Put together ten Off total camera. As they stomped the Expos, nine to three. We only have three game series and we're on the road. Totaled 13 hits as a team as they defeated if the A's Bauer can make his next game, that would be the end of the, the Chicago Astros series. I think the next game we'll do together will be, I'm going to sim ahead through the Tiger series and we'll do... The New York Mets pounded out we'll do, 17 uh, hits in opener this one at Chicago. The Braves in Atlanta, so I think that's where we'll leave off. So if you like this episode, hit, three long hit that like button, leave a comment if you'd like, subscribe to the channel. The Arizona Diamondbacks and we'll see you next time the Dodgers for MLB The Show 20 for your Minnesota Twins franchise. Till next time, peace out. Go Twins.